stadiums, housing the world's greatest footballing talents and their fans alike with strength and stability built into the very fiber of their being. How do stadiums stand strong and tall despite being under the pressure of tons of weight? A stadium needs to be an absolute fortress to accommodate the weight of the bustling spectators and its towering roof. Pillars or columns can be erected across the landscape to support the roof, but this would block the view and make the stadium not so spectator friendly. The solution to this conundrum? Trusses, architectural brackets made of metal bars used to support a heavy weight. Now, let's isolate one component of this truss, which is a cube or cuboid with diagonal beams across its faces and put it to the test. The cube is able to withstand the weight it is subjected to, but on eliminating the diagonal beams, the cube instantly collapses. So why were the diagonal beams so crucial to the arrangement? Notice, the diagonals actually create triangles at the faces of the cube. Now in other shapes, with sides connected by pin joints, even if the lengths of the sides are fixed, the angles could still change, leading to deformation and eventual collapse. But in a triangle with fixed sides, the angles at its vertices, too, will always be fixed, safeguarding it from any shape changes, giving the triangle an unalterable permanent shape or rigidity. And when the triangle is grouped with other similar triangles, it forms a truss, which makes for a stable, stronger roof. From supporting simple shelves to withstanding weights at the Lucille, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Eiffel Tower, and many other such mammoth structures, the triangle is a cornerstone of modern architecture. Which stadium would you like to witness a game of football in? Keep watching Goal to Goal for all things science and football.